Hello, welcome to the next section, animating a sprite in Unity. In this section, you will learn how to create and play animations for the player character to see as Unity controls the player and other elements in the game. You will look at animating sprites, integrating animations into animators, and continuing our platform game. Now we move on to the first video of this section, animating sprites. In this video, you will be looking at the two ways of creating animations in Unity automatic clip creation and manual clip creation. Creating and using animations for sprites is a bit easier than other parts of the development stage. By using animations and tools to animate our game, we have the ability to breathe some life into it. Let's start by creating a running animation for our player. There are two ways of creating animations in Unity automatic clip creation and manual clip creation. Let's take a look at the first way automatic clip creation. This is the recommended method for creating 2D animations. Here, Unity is able to create the entire animation for you with a single click. If you navigate in the project panel to the platformer pack Player P1 Walk, you can find an animation sheet as a single file, p1walk.png, and a folder of a PNG image for each frame of the animation. We will use the latter one. The reason for this is because the single sprite sheet will not work perfectly as it is not optimized for Unity. In the project panel, create a new folder and rename it as Animations. Then select all the PNG images in Platformer Pack Player P1 Walk PNG and drop them into the hierarchy panel. A new window will appear that will give us the possibility to save them as a new animation in a folder that we choose. Let's save the animation in our new folder, titled Animation, and name it as Walk Anim. After saving the animation, look in the project panel next to the animation file. Now there is another asset with the name of one of the dropped sprites. This is an animator controller, and as the name suggests, it is used to control the animation. Let's rename it to Player Animator so that we can distinguish it later. In the hierarchy panel, a game object has been automatically created with the original name of our controller. If we select it, the inspector should look like this. You can always add an animator component to a game object by clicking an Add Component Miscellaneous Animator. As you can see, below the Sprite Renderer component, there is an animator component, and this component will control the animation for the player and is usually accessed through a custom script to change the animations. We will do this later. For now, delete this new object that we have created since we will use our character from the previous section. For now, drag and drop the new controller, Player Animator, onto our player object. Now we will look at manual clip creation. Now we also need a jump animation for our character. However, since we only have one sprite for the player jumping, we will manually create the animation clip for it. To achieve this, select the player object in the hierarchy panel and open the animation window from Window Animation. The animation window will appear. As you can see, our animation Walk Anim is already selected. To create a new animation clip, click on where you see the text Walk Anim. As a result, a drop down menu appears and here you can select Create New Clip. Save the new animation in the Animations folder as Jump Anim. On the right, you can find the animation timeline. Select from the project panel the folder Platform Pack Player. Then 
drag and drop the sprite P1 jump on the timeline. You can see that the timeline for the animation has changed. In fact, now it contains the jumping animation, even if it is made out of only one sprite. Finally, save what we have done so far. The Animation Windows features are best used to make fine tunes for the animation. Now the animation folder should look like this in the project panel. By selecting the Walk Anim file, you will be able to see the preview panel, which is located at the bottom of the inspector when an object that may contain animation is selected. To test the animation, drag the player object and drop it in the preview panel and hit play. You can see our sprite is animated. In the preview panel, you can check out your animations without having to test them directly from code. In addition, you can easily select the desired animation and then drag the animation into a game object with the corresponding animator controller and drop it into the preview panel. Great! In this video, you saw the two methods of animating sprites, namely automatic clip creation and manual clip creation.